Okay, but this has been exposed now for a minute and a half. What we need to do now is we need to develop the pattern under transparency. And you're keeping that because... I'm keeping that because very often you need to do it again because sometimes it doesn't always work. So okay. put it in here. We that won't happen this time though. <laughs> we then flow. We might see the tracks, <laughs> is that right? If they're beginning to appear now. You can see there. Oh yes, you can, Same. yes. So as I float over. Is it possible to overdo it? it? It Well, it depends on the concentrate. If you have the concentrate right, like mixed one part concentrate mm. to nine parts water, you can just take your time and it should be fine. Okay, so you've been doing it for about 30 seconds now. Yeah, about, you know, a minute at the most. Until all the actual colour comes off and we see clean copper. Clean copper, yeah, well, I can see it's quite, it's quite bright now. Yeah. Even when it's all moving, we can actually rinse it off, and it's usually quite good. So that's just nearly done now. Okay. Now, we'll have a look at that and see if that's okay. We can always put it back in if it's not done enough. We can have a look, and we can see that the copper is fairly shiny, so it seems to be just copper and then just the mm. nice transparency. So as you can see, it's nice clean mm. corner, so it looks pretty good. Do you rinse that? Yeah, rinse that now. Um, what's important is, with this with this material here, we can't just throw it down the sink, okay? so we have to dispose <laughs> of it properly, so we have a container that we pour this all into. Okay? Okay. Then we can for rinsing, there's very little on this, so for rinsing we can put it on the water. Okay. So, so that's the board ready to go into the um, etching tank. So that's mm. one side. The other side is all copper with no transfer. So this copper will all disappear. So it'll, get, yeah. it'll end up in a single sided board. Just epoxy resin that side. And then hopefully nice clean tracks on this side. Mm. So we stick it into our etching tank. And again we're wearing our gloves. We just drop it in there. Put it in. And then we just switch on the pump. And that takes, depending on your the strength of the etching fluid, um, in this case it takes about 20 minutes to etch that board. So what the best thing to do is to come back every 10 minutes, uh, but in about 10 minutes, check it, see how it's doing, and then every 5 minutes after that to see where, how it's progressing. Okay, well we'll come back then. Thanks John.